In today's tutorial, I am going to show you seven steps multicolor infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here it will show you the step one here, and then you can add the vertical text here along with the icon. And on my next click, it will show me the step two with a different color, then step three, step four, step five, step six, and step seven. I have created one more slide with five options only and when I click it will show me the step one here I have used the horizontal text then it comes the step number two step number three four and five so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the rectangle select this one which is the single corner rounded draw it at the corner left side corner you can see here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and then I'm just going to rotate and you can just say flip vertical and you can see a small orange point just drag it down so it becomes fully curved then I'm going to press ctrl D to duplicate it bring it down you can see here and then go to rotate I'm going to say flip vertical once again then add one more shape go to insert shapes and then I'm going to select the top corners rounded make it this much size and make it fully curved you can see here you can just drag this orange point and rotate you can just say rotate right 90 degrees and exactly put it in the center then go to insert shapes I'm going to select the oval shape draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here you can give some different color and just put it exactly in the center here you can see here then I'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select the oval shape go to merge shape and just say subtract and then I'm going to make it no outline for this and then I'm just going to increase the size so that it is perfectly matching here you can see here and this also I'm just going to match it exactly here and make sure that it is again you can hold the alt key also you get a perfect shape like this let me just reduce the size from here so you can see here I've got this perfectly curved shape now I'm going to select all these three objects by pressing Ctrl A you can see here and then go to format merge shape and just say union you can see here and if you want to increase the size I can add one more rectangle again and group it so let me just do that one go to insert shapes again select the rectangle draw the rectangle exactly the same size shape outline make it no outline and then select both of these shape merge shape and union so you got one shape something like this now you can change the color of your choice whichever color you feel better you can do it then right mouse click go to format shape and you can give the shadow effect here so I'm going to select the shadow effect which is offset right increase the distance you can see here you can increase it and you can just increase a blur size also a little bit then I'm going to select this uh, before that one I can add one more oval shape here let me just select the oval shape and draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key which is perfectly fitting in this one you can see here shape outline make it no outline and you can give some 3d effect here so go to the 3d format and from the top bevel I'm going to select this one which is the soft round here now I'm going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate it and then I'm going to give some different color here maybe can I can give this orange and I'll just place it here then just send this to back you can see here then this one I'm going to fill this with white color here and give the same shadow effect here you can see here I can give a shadow effect increase the distance something like this you can place it according to your requirement so this is my second step then again I can select this press ctrl D to duplicate it add one more here then I'm going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate and give some different color of your choice whichever color you feel better 
then I'm going to give it put it here and then format just say send to back so you can see here let me just add I have to keep on adding till my requirement is met so again select this one press ctrl D again select some different color you can see here again just send this to back so I'm going to add few more or one more I'm just going to select this again press ctrl D change the color for example maybe blue and then just say send to back so you can see here and if you want you can add one more last also but up to your requirement how much you want to do it so you can see here I've added one two three four five options let me just select this press ctrl D add one more here and then you can just change the background color to any good color whichever color which you feel better for example let me just select uh, this color I can just say ok so you can see here I have added the five options and any color or any color of your choice you can choose it and once this is done let me just uh, untick the guides so it looks something like this and then you can go to insert click the icons and this particular feature is available only in the latest version of PowerPoint if you don't have you can go and check my tutorials or my channel uh, I have provided more than 500 free icons so you can download it there so I'm just going to select some random five uh, icons click insert and I'm going to change the size to point say seven the height and width and then I'm going to place one by one here you can see here I have placed uh, random icons here and then once this is done I can go and insert the text here I will just say this is step 01 I will make it right aligned make it white font bold increase the size you can see here so this is the step 1 press ctrl D to duplicate step 2 step 3 4 5 you can see here then let me just change it to 2 3 4 and 5 and then you can add some detailed text here go to insert either you can add it uh, horizontally or vertically it's up to your requirement I'll just say add your detail text here you can see here again you want you can make it white font again right aligned press ctrl D you can see here so this way I have just finished my uh, the slide design now it's time to add the animation so before adding the animation I can just uh, start grouping first so I'm going to select this hold the shift key select the text both the text and press ctrl G to group it and this also I'm going to select both of these options and press ctrl G then I'm going to select the these two text along with this again press ctrl G the moment you group it it comes front again go to back and just say send back till you can see here the this one is visible so likewise either you can start from the right also not a problem so let me just do one by one you can see here press ctrl G again send back and let me just group this also let me just group first this you can see here and then I'm going to select this I think I already grouped this one yeah so let me just group this now press ctrl G again format send back then I'm going to select the step 5 again group it send back you can see here so the grouping is done let's do the animation now so to do the animation go to the animation tab close the format background enable the animation pane 
I'm going to select the first one click on the fly in fly in effect option say from left so if you want we can make it more faster it's up to you and then I'm going to select this add animation more entrance effects I can give a basic zoom also or you can use some other it's up to your requirement so let me just say okay and this should happen after previous so if I play it comes something like this then I'm going to select this animation painter click it here so it comes from the uh, behind then again use the animation painter you can see here so it's easy for me I'm just going to do the this one and then select this then let me just select the step 3 apply to the step 4 and then the this one and then select this one click on this and then something like this so let me just play it in the slideshow when i click it will show me the step one then the step two step three four and five so you can see here the simple animation you can do it for this particular slide That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.